Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy July to everyone. The year is like literally halfway over. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Is it going by fast for anyone other than me? Um, so it is time for my July TBCs, meaning to be colored. I used to do what's in the bag, but uh, these won't fit in a bag. <laughs> so it's just become TBCs. So one thing I like to always say is, you know, I put or I pick these pictures, but I may not get to all of them. It kind of depends on my mood. Um, I do like to pre-plan and pick out pictures ahead of time. It saves me time like after I finish one. But that said, sometimes I just get a whim and want to color something that I didn't even pick for my TBCs. Or other times I'll get to a page and be like, I don't feel like coloring that anymore. Um, but I do pick out them with the best intentions. It's just I never want to make my favorite happy place of coloring feel like homework. So <laughs> I always put that out there because, you know, some people have been like, oh, you didn't color this page. I'm like, well, I just didn't get to it. Other times I do start it and then I just, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I'm not going to force it on myself. However, I do plan to color these and hopefully get through them. So let's start with, uh, let's start with a hashtag. Okay, so I am hosting a hashtag this month. It's called, Car <laughs> I can't even say it. Carl's on crazy July 21, as in Hannah Carl's in. So the reason this sparked is I had put out a message on my community tab asking if anyone wanted to do some buddy colors this month. Um, I get requests and sporadically and it, it's hard to plan so I just decided to throw it out there and go from there and a lot of the pages picked were Hannah Carlson and then I had a few other people approach me with buddy colors and they were also Hannah Carlson so I was like okay um we're all like a little Carlson crazy right now <laughs> so it's like why not just make a tag so what it is, is you can color any page, whether it's one of her PDFs or from her actual books. Tag me on Instagram using the hashtag CarlsonCrazyJuly21. And if you do use the tag, I will include your image at a video that I'll record at the end of the month. Well, I guess I should say the beginning of August so everyone can submit. But I will have a video kind of showcasing all those who participated. And then I also have buddy colors, so <laughs> let me show ya. I will definitely be participating in this. So in, uh, oh my gosh, is it Tales from the Forest Kingdom? I don't know, it's for a new one. <laughs> I have a buddy color page that I am doing. Oh my gosh, my nails. Okay, look at my cute bookmarks. I got these from Imogen, the Coloring Kids Etsy store. Oh my gosh, I love them. It's like the best way. So I am doing this page here with Emma from Emma Colors 2020. We're going to do a buddy color page. So that one, actually, I'm super excited to do this one. It's a buggy. Okay. I need a place to put all these. All right. Then from Spirit Animals... Okay, <laughs> I can't get these post-it notes off. This page here, uh, so I had so many people reply to the community tab buddy color that a few of us are just all joining forces, so to speak, and doing this page. You can check my community tab. Um, I kind of go over the buddy colors and all that. So we have a couple of us doing this page together. And then of course you can, you know, tag me on Instagram when you finish this one, but also put it towards the Carlson Crazy July 21 tag. Um, I will probably do a separate video of just this owl page, depending on how many participate in it, just because it is a buddy color we're doing together versus just any page. But yeah, you're welcome to join us. There, I think it's five of us now, maybe six. I gotta go back and count. Um, all coloring this page. I know a few people are doing the page next to it. I don't think I'll have time. So this is the page that we're doing for that. 
All right. Then in Magical Dawn. Okay. I am working on this page. This is also going to be a buddy color page with Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. Um, we picked this one. I've actually always wanted to color this one with the pretty flowers. And then of course it will go towards the Carlson Crazy July or Carlson Crazy July 21. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> can't even get my own tag right. Um, it's a lot. It's a mouthful to say. Okay. Now, in Daydreams, I am doing a very unique buddy color with this one. Let me get to the page first. Then I shall explain. Okay. So this is going to go towards my hashtag on Instagram, but also um, we'll have our own little tag for this. So Jamie from Jamma Fran Colors and I are going to color this together, but literally. Uh, we actually live like 45 minutes away from one another. <laughs> so we're doing the ultimate buddy color because we will each in our own copy of Daydreams color the right side, leaving the left side. And then she and I are gonna meet up in a couple weeks, swap books, and then we'll color each other's left side in each other's book. So um, it'll merge as one, but it'll be really fun because you know, we'll see how it kind of develops, but also it's literally like the ultimate buddy color because we are completing a page in each other's book together. <laughs> um, and so this one I'm really excited about. We're gonna call it uh, Carlson Coloring Col Collab 21. And then it'll also go towards my month's hashtag as well. But this will be a fun one. Plus it's, it's really cool because you know, we always follow each other on um, YouTube, but we're actually going to meet in real life, exchange books, say hello, and you know, put an actual face to the coloring name. <laughs> so this is gonna be a really fun one to do. And we both will be recording it. So I'll record me coloring this side in my book and then also this side in her book. Maybe, I don't know. We might not wanna reveal the finished ones yet. So we may only just record coloring this side and reveal later. I'm not sure. We gotta coordinate that part. But either way, that will be the ultimate buddy color. Okay, speaking of buddy colors. I can't do everything from Hannah Carl's in this month. I would go bonkers. Um, I need variety. So in my Facebook group, uh, each month we are now going to do a group buddy color or community color along type of thing. And for the first one, because this will be our first one we do, I wanted to have an image that everyone could use. Um, so we used what came from Johanna Basford's Flourish. That's her free PDF. It's still available on her blog, by the way. Um, but also a lot of those images were integrated into Worlds of Wonder. She added some you know, enhancements to a few of them. But that will be what we're coloring. So you can either do Worlds of Wonder or her free PDF. And the page that everyone, well, majority voted for, <laughs> I should say, ignore my old tag there, is the little mushroom house, which really has not changed from uh, Flourish. So if you are in my Facebook group, uh, you can participate, uh, post them in the Facebook group, and I will be doing a fun little video also just showing everything that all the awesome people in my Facebook group have colored, because I think this will be really fun to do and to see all the different you know, color schemes everyone comes up with. But yeah, this is for my Facebook group. You're welcome to come join us. Colorists, um, fans, YouTubers, all alike, welcome to my Facebook group. You're always allowed to watermark anything you want. Um, and I do allow self-promotion because I feel like we all need to support one another. <laughs> so um, definitely come join us in my group and do this page if you would like. Really fun. Okay. Now, from Hannah Lynn's Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays, 
I totally had the intention of coloring this like throughout the year and I have failed miserably at that <laughs> but whatever uh, I am doing or going to try to do this 4th of July page because yeah you know 4th of July will I color it by the 4th of July not really sure on that one <laughs> not gonna lie <laughs> this more I might like end up coloring this end of the month but there is a year-long hashtag for this one as well. I really did plan to color this in order, and then it never happened. I did one in March, and that was the end of it. <laughs> so, yeah, I failed miserably at that one. All right, let's show some portraits. I am going to do portraits because I'm doing hair, so... This one here, okay, this is a rare find in my coloring whip collection. Most of my whips for portraits have the hair and no skin. This is the one and only where the skin is done. I know she looks freaky right now, but it's because she has no hair or lips or eyes. <laughs> but um, I actually colored this skin a long time ago when I first found Karen Valentine's channel and I did this skin with her. Um, I'll make sure when I do the actual video to link that, but <clears throat> I had done the skin and, you know, and then I just kind of put it away. <laughs> and, and that was when I was first dabbling in portraits and trying to figure it out and all that. And yeah, I just kind of was like, uh, and then I totally forgot about it until the other day I texted her <laughs> the picture and I was like, Hey, look at this. I totally forgot. I did this on like following your channel. But I am going to use this for a hair series. What color? I haven't decided. So last month I had pretty much pre-planned the hair colors. Um, and that kind of pigeonholed my creativity. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, so there are a few where I know what the colors are going to be. There are a few others not. I am thinking this is going to be blonde, but I don't want to quote on that just yet. Um, it will be a natural hair color of some sort, that is for sure. All right, let me move that one out of the way. Okay, this one here I need to cut. Um, just haven't gotten around to it. So Sweet Escape Digital Stamps actually asked if I would color some of their pages. They're on Etsy. So um, I'm actually going to be coloring this one here this month, and I will make a video and actually link to this one if you're interested. But they have a bunch of adorable like digital stamps and coloring pages. They do print as A5. Um, you could stretch it to 8.5 by 11 if you want, but it looks funky. Trust me, I tried. So I just stuck to the A5 size, and then I'll just cut this and go from there. But yeah, I'll be coloring that one. It's kind of nice to do like the A5 size though. All right. This one I was supposed to color in June. I didn't get around to it. But like I said, you know, sometimes I, life gets in the way or I just don't feel like coloring it. But it was going to be my woman in all red. Um, and I didn't get around to finishing that tag. That said, I did create the hair color. Ignore the skin. I was playing with um, some skin tones. <laughs> All ugly. Oh, Ugh. Um, But I did pick the hair. So on my community tab, you might have seen this. I posted Luminance Red. So these are Lumis. And Black Widow Reds here. And I had, you know, asked everyone to vote. And the Black Widows uh, seem to have won. So I'll be doing this one with the Black Widows, but don't worry, uh, for those of you who like the Lumi one, I'm gonna save the combo, and I will do one in the Lumis. But this one will be with the Black Widows, so you got a sneak peek. Uh, I actually have the pencils still right here on my desk. I have to write these ones down so I don't forget. And the Black Widows, there are one, seven. <laughs> red hair is complex, guys, especially if you want that fiery red hair. It takes a lot of colors, and I tried to keep it minimal, but that was as minimal as we can get. Um, but yeah, this will definitely still be red hair, but now the rest, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do purple flowers or something. I don't know. Uh, this month, I didn't really look to see what hashtags 
you know, I qualified to participate in. Um, <laughs> so we'll see. But okay, this was in my June TBCs, you may have remembered. And I was doing light pink hair. I still am. I had just colored the skin and kind of got busy. The skin isn't done down here. Uh, the face is, I think, as done as it's going to get for now. We'll see. Um, I'll probably end up adding more, but I'm going to wait till I get the hair in because this is going to be light pink hair with black widows. And I want to make sure her face doesn't come off too pinkish. So before I keep going with the skin, I want to see what happens with the hair. So this will be a hair tutorial that you'll see this month. If you're wondering what's up with the stickies, it's because this clip thing on my clipboard keeps indenting my pages. So now I have sticky notes saving them. <clears throat> okay, last PDF. I haven't cut it yet. This is another one where it's a digital stamp. That It'll be a digital stamp coloring page, but it's an A5, so I just need to cut it out. So I was invited to join the color uh, colorathon at the end of July. It runs the last weekend of July, so my part will actually be August 1st. But the tag itself is Julia in July 2021, and this is artwork by Julia Spiri. I hope I said that right. Uh, it's being hosted by Shell Artie and Ashley Colors, um, both on YouTube. And I was invited to participate in the Colorathon, so my slot will be on August 1st, Sunday, which is the normal uh, day I live stream. It'll be a little later than I normally live stream, but not much. It's just noon MST, I think. <laughs> I gotta double check on that. Um, but Shell already will be putting out like a whole announcement about the Colorathon with all the times and everyone participating um, here pretty soon. But I just wanted to show you guys the page I'll be doing in my TBCs. Um, this one is super adorable. She actually, I have never owned any of her PDFs. I, in fact, didn't even know about her um, <laughs> until I was invited to this Colorathon. And so I looked it up and I was like, and yeah, I, she has adorable stuff. A lot of hers are coloring pages and digital stamps, similar to the other one I'm doing, but I'll just end up cutting this out, and it actually is less daunting because it's a smaller piece to color. So she has a ton of adorable stuff, though. You really gotta check that out. Okay, I still have more. <laughs> um, now these are, maybe I'll get to them, maybe I won't. So I have a couple from these Chibi Girls ones, and this is because I bought the Arteza Everblend brush markers. I bought three sets of 36. I swatched them on my live stream not too long ago. <laughs> I highly recommend you watch that on replay. Um, it was a hot mess, not just because the markers were leaking all over. I had markers splatter all over my hand, my shirt, my desk. It's still on my desk because I haven't removed it. Um, but I am testing those markers so that I can do a full review. And I like using Chibi Girls and Kawaii Girls for markers. So I have picked a few pages that I want to test those on. And how I'm doing it is I picked four pages. One for each set, and then the fourth page is I'm going to combine the sets. The reason I did that is I want to individually evaluate each set because they're sold as tones, supposedly meant to work together and blend together. And from some of my early testing, you can make a pretty decent blend with what you're given. But because they decided to sell them separately in packs, um, I felt it was necessary to try and color an entire page for each pack. That way, if you don't wanna spend, because it was like $76 per pack, $76 on three sets, you know, you can just buy the one you like and I'll show you what it looks like if you were to use only that set. Um, it will be interesting because one of them don't have a ton of skin tones. So <laughs> maybe she'll have like blue skin. I don't know. But here's the pages I picked. I haven't decided which set will go with them. Um, but this will just be something I'm kind of testing in the background. I may not finish them all this month. They'll probably spill into next. But I did from, uh, this is Chibi Girls from Jade Summer. I did pick this school teacher one. I don't know why. It just looked cute. 
Okay, and then from my Chibi Girls coloring book is where the rest are hanging out. So I have selected this one. I actually think this one will probably be the deco tones because they're so bright and fun. Or actually maybe tropical because past they're more pastel and that would be fun too. Gosh darn it, I don't know. So here's one. Here is another one that I'm going to do. And then the fourth one is this adorable mermaid. So like I said, one per set and then one of them I will combine all the sets. Now the paper in both of these books is not great. So I always scan and print on marker paper for these. This is one I did, I think I did a color along with this one. Um, but yeah, so I will be testing my Arteza Everblend brush markers in these books. Okay, I swear we're almost there. Um, I have just a couple more. <laughs> so Creative Haven Summer Scenes. I can't go through summer and not color in this book. <laughs> I was going to do it last month and didn't. Um, August, I feel, is too close to school. So I picked this beach page. Um, and yeah, I, I'm i really hoping I can get to this one because I feel kind of silly having a summer book and not coloring a summer page. But I do love you know these. These ones are Teresa Goodridge, so I love all her artwork. But I love how these are perforated so I can pull them out, put them on a clipboard, not sit here and fight the spine. Um, and the paper is actually thick not super thick but thicker than copy paper and smooth so I don't ever have to scan and reprint these ones but I do plan to work on that okay last but not least are two whips that I plan to finish in July they may even be finished before this video airs <laughs> um, so in flowerscape I had started this double page spread it was a June TBC and I started it at the end of the month and just didn't get around to finishing it. But I do plan to finish this for July. Um, I am working on it as we speak, so it should be done. This book I am coloring in order, so next month, holy moly! <laughs> um, but I am also, because it is my favorite coloring book, I'm using my favorite medium, so not only am I coloring it in order, but with Prismacolor only. Backgrounds, however, can be whatever I want. So yeah, this is done with Prismacolors. Gosh, I love this book. I need to buy another copy um, because that way I can use a different medium. And then I will be finishing my Kirby Whip. Oops, I can get it open. Okay, so this one would have actually been done had I not been waiting to finish um, this wave. I need to record the wave tutorial and post it on my channel and then I will finish this one up. But I definitely plan to finish this in July. I've had a lot of fun. Um, I'm loving the color. I'm actually tempted to go and do the other side. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, it's um, very relaxing. But I will be finishing that, oops, let me get my book tag back on there, um, finishing that as well and might actually be done or at least recorded by the time this goes up. So yeah, that is my TBCs. Uh, it seems like a lot, but I do have a lot of, you know, things mixed in there, I guess. But um, as I always say, you know, I may or may not get to all of them. I will for sure be finishing these whips. I will definitely be doing all the Hannah Carlson ones I have and my Facebook group one. And then the rest I just tackle as I can tackle them. But again, I never want it to feel like a homework or a checklist because then it's just not fun. And like I said, there's always those occasional things that pop up where I'm like, hey, you know what? I should just, I wanna color this instead. So it's all about what you feel like doing. Um, also, I didn't look up hashtags this month. I normally do, but I just didn't have time. And, you know, it, it takes a lot of time to go through and find all the hashtags that pages I've picked correlate with. So I'll just tag them later once I finish coloring them. <laughs> um, 
and just go from there. But I definitely will be obviously participating in my own tag. <laughs> so, yep, I'm looking forward to July. I will be live streaming uh, every Sunday this month, I think is the plan. Um, I know I had said I wasn't going to count on it, but a lot of you have been enjoying the live stream. I have been getting a lot of um, private messages asking me to keep live streaming. So I have decided um, I will just officially be live streaming every Sunday between 10 and 11 a.m. will be uh, Mountain Standard Time will be my start time. Uh, the only time it will vary is that one for the color -a -thon at the end of the month just because I'm in a specific time slot. But you can always plan on Sunday and it'll be usually just a whip and chat, but occasionally I might do swatching. Um, in fact, July 4th, um, I will be swatching my 520 Brute Funer pencils <laughs> because you can't do that solo. You got to do that live because you're going to need people to keep you sane and chat with you <laughs> while you do it. I may already have lost my mind by the time we get there, though, because I have to sharpen 520. I am using this, by the way. I'm not hand crank sharpening that. And I also have to put them in order because apparently they don't come in order. So, yes, if I am still sane by then, <laughs> um, it'll be a fun live stream. This will definitely post before that stream, so make sure you catch it out. It, catch it out. Uh, catch it. It'll be on July 4th, but during the day before we all go and do anything that we normally do on July 4th. But yeah, just uh, plan on that every Sunday for live streams. I do have a bunch of videos I will be putting up. Um, I feel like I have a ton of swatching and flip through videos galore, uh, but I am going to do more coloring videos. The only reason I had so many swatching ones was Prime Day and just me buying a bunch, but I'm actually curbing my spending for a while so my hauls won't be as crazy and I won't have as much to swatch other than the 520 pencils um <laughs> but uh, that's a whole other thing so yeah guys I'm excited for July I'm excited for the hashtag I'm excited for the ultimate buddy color uh with Jamma Fran colors I'm excited for my Facebook groups community color and all of that it'll be loads of fun and before I forget, one thing that you do not see in my TBCs, but I will have a separate video for, is a cross-channel color along that I am hosting. Gosh, I'm hosting a lot this month. Um, for Christmas in July, it'll be using Johanna Bassford's Christmas. I'm waiting for my new copy to arrive because my kids destroyed my old one. But I'll be making a video to announce that. We have, I think, six or seven channels also participating in that one. So I'll make a separate video for that. Uh, if you are a YouTuber uh, and want to participate, just message me on Instagram or Facebook and I can give you the details. But that will be part of the Christmas in July tag that happens every year in July and it will be using Johanna Bassford's um, Christmas. I did discuss it in my last live stream if you want to check that out as well and I'll make a separate video for that one because I don't want it to get lost <laughs> in all this chaos um, especially because it's a cross-channel one. So yeah thanks guys for hanging out while we talked about everything I'm gonna color for the last 30 minutes <laughs> and Let's see what I complete this month. So I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys, coloring with you guys, seeing what you color for my tag. And until then, take care.